40 events, 34 individual and 6 relays. So quite an action-packed program here in Glasgow. The venue is famous Tokros International Swimming Center. Originally built in 1997 and then expanded for the 2014 Commonwealth Games. The very same pool hosted the LEN European Long Course Championships just last August, so most of the swimmers present have fresh memories of the venue. However, this time around the pool was adjusted to be able to host the short course event. Short course means that the length of the pool is 25 meters instead of 50, the one that is used at the Olympics or the World Championships. But most of the swimmers say, have the size, double the fun. They just love racing short course, which makes the competition more dynamic, vibrant and fun to watch. So let's watch together the fun that is unfolding over the next five days. My name is David Santo and on behalf of the entire LEN media team, once again a very warm welcome to you all from Glasgow. So this is the schedule for the first morning session. We are going to start with the men's 100 meter butterfly followed by a pair of 50 meter breaststroke events. Then the women's 400 individual medley with Katinka Hosu in the mix. Then men's 400 freestyle, women's 100 backstroke, men's 200 backstroke. Then the only relay for today, that is the men's 4 by 50 meter freestyle relay. And the program concludes with the women's 800 meter freestyle preliminaries. In most of the events, there is direct qualification for the finals. The final session uh, will start today at 5 p.m. local time. That is 6 p.m. Central European time. And uh, we are going to have quite interesting finals already today. And uh, also semi-finals in some of the events. In the 50 meter and the 100 meter events, we have semi-finals. That means the 16 fastest can qualify for the afternoon session. And all the other events, so 200, 400, and 800 meter, and also the relays. We have direct finals, so the eight fastest will go through to today's finals. This is the warm up pool, and uh, some shots taken before the start of the event. And we have quite a big turnaround of athletes. More than 500 athletes representing 49 nations are present here in Glasgow, which is a record number of, uh, of nations. So 49 out of uh, 52, and that is a new European record, may I say, the first one here in Glasgow. Some of the biggest stars of World Aquatics here in Scotland, like Katinka Hosu. She will swim the 400 meters individual medley today, entered in five individual events for these European Short Course Championships. She is by far the most decorated swimmer of all times short course. Here she is, leading a strong 23 Swimmers uh, from Hungary, and as I mentioned, some big guns besides Katinka, like Duncan Scott from Great Britain, home favorite. We are all looking forward to the 200 meter freestyle men, where he can uh, once again have a great rivalry with Lithuania's Danas Brabcis. We'll see Raptors today in the 400 meter freestyle and 200 meter later on in the program of the European Short Course Championships. At any one time, every so this one is International Tolkros Swimming Center, which was the venue of the Long Course Europeans last year. It was a very, very successful event and uh, Len has decided to award not only the long course, but also the short course swimming championships to the biggest city of Scotland. Here we are just a few moments away from the start of the first session. As mentioned earlier, we will have five days of action, 40 events contested. Talking about today's program, 
as I mentioned, uh, already there are some big guns, but also uh, some big names missing, like Adam Geaty, who opted uh, to focus on the Tokyo Olympic Games next, next year. So skipping the short course Europeans, quite honestly, he did not have that much of success. Short course, yes, he did win uh, a European title, but he's not unbeatable over short course. Russia has a very, very strong delegation here. Also Italy with the biggest number of athletes, more than 40 swimmers representing Italy. And uh, names like Gregorio Patrinieri and Federica Pellegrini. I think we can count the Cangron Italy being on top of the medal standings at the end of these European Championships. Last time in uh, Copenhagen, two years ago, at the European Short Coast Championships, it was Russia who led the medal table ahead of Hungary. Hungary, of course, winning lots of medals thanks to Katinka Hosu, back then winning six individual titles. This time around, she will only swim five, the three individual medley events, then the 100 fly and the 200 fly later on. So if you are ready, the swimmers are ready, and the technical officials will be ready soon. Here they are, representing the different nations of Europe and representing LEN in general and the Technical Swimming Committee. They are here to make sure that the competition is run smoothly and according to swimming rules. And let's hope that they will not disqualify anyone. So here they are, taking their seats and spots, the technical officials, and the referees are being introduced right now, Andrea Tielenhaus and Mirai Zimmer, and the starters. This is Marco Rondoni from Italy. Kevin Pedersen representing the Home Federation. And Mr. Craig Hunter as the technical delegate for this event. All right, so it is time to start the action here in Glasgow. Time to start the 2019 Land European Short Course Swimming Championships. This is the cool room okay, where the swimmers gather and then they will march out to the field of play to the pool deck. We will start with the 100 meter butterfly for men. In this event, we're going to have seven heats. The biggest guns coming in the final three heats. So the 30 best swimmers with the best entry times, they will be seeded into those Gibraltar, their first time 
here at the short course European Championships. Started. In the middle, you can see Thomas Lomero from Andorra. And as I told you, it is short course, so 25 meter long pool. This is going to be a very quick race. Already at the halfway turn, Lomero leading the way by 44 hundredths of a second. And of Aiden Carroll representing Gibraltar. And this is the final turn, the best of turns from Lomero, but still clearly up in front and taking this first heat ahead of Carroll. The winning time is 56.25, which is a huge personal best for Thomas Lomero. He had an entry time of 58.7 so he improved two and a half seconds on that. And of course to qualify for the semi-finals it would take much much stronger time two years ago in Copenhagen it was 51.3 the final qualifier for the semi-finals so the results are now official we have Thomas Lomero from Andorra the huge personal best and all three swimmers under one minute including Dren Ukimurai from Kosovo also swimming for the first time in his career, under one minute. And this is heat two. Ten swimmers, Saver Grentner from Austria in the middle lane. Expect them to be much faster than uh, Thomas Lomero was in the previous heat. Grentner with uh, an entry time of 54 point one. But currently it is Andre Kemo from the Czech Republic with Trentner up in front. Yeah, one tenth of a second separating those two and we are one second faster than in the previous heat. Those two, Trentner and Kemo together at the final turn. Great underwater by Gimov, but it seems that the Austrian is much stronger in the final 10 meters or so, but he is going to take this one. 53.5, the winning time. Better than the entry time. Yeah, more than half a second, but definitely not enough for a qualification to the semi-finals in this event. I would expect 51.5 to be the cut or some uh, something around that. Remember, last time, two years ago, it took 51.3 to qualify for the semi-finals. We're moving on to heat number three. Finland's Nico Mekle in the middle lane. Most of the times are below 53 seconds. at the start, but off they go. Nico Mekele 
in four, Christopher Carlsen from Sweden in five. Also very strong up in lane zero. This is Julian Engs from Luxembourg. 24.0 at the first turn. Eight tenths of a second faster than Trentner was in the previous heat. So it is going to be under 53 seconds, most probably. And the Swede is up in front, but not anymore. In lane one, this is Andreas Vizayas, a great medley swimmer, taking this heat in 51.16, which could be enough. Could be for a surprising qualification to the semi-finals for the Greek. Very strong back end of this 100 meter fly. And Andreas Vesayas takes it. Two swimmers under 52 seconds in this heat. As we move on to the fourth one. And once again, the final three heats, that is five, six, and seven, will be where the big names are coming. But already, 51.1 by Andreas Vesayos means that we are getting quicker and quicker. this heat we have Scott McClay, a home kid, down in lane 8, in the middle lanes, since the lane 4 and 5, Josip Nadinov and Noe Ponti, the fastest at the first turn. Also coming strong in lane 0, Nisa Stoikovsky, but it is Miladinov, Zaitsev, McClay, and then Stoikovsky. The pace is much faster than in the previous heat, so we might see the first sub-51 second swim. But it's still in lane 5. Noe Ponti up in front, and he takes it ahead of Zaitsev and Tomer Frankel coming strong. And finishing third. 51.06 is faster than Vizayos one in the previous heat. So the Swiss can be happy. Might be enough for Noe Ponti. 51.06. That's a strong swim and the new personal best by the Swiss. Only 18 years of age. So room for improvement, of course, for Noe Ponti. And now, up to the seeded heats. In lane four, we are going to have Piero Codilla, the long course European champion. Right next to him, Alexander Kharlanov from Russia. The pool start by Kodia. Moroslav yeah. and Turkin from Belarus in lane three. Who had the best start of all. Turkin, a very good sprinter. Once a bronze medalist over 50 meter fly. And now it's Tsieslak, Kodia, Turkin. The first three and the halfway turn. 3.5 the split time now Kodia is making his move already up in front in the middle lane in his black cap but also very strong Tieslak from Poland in six so it is going to be Tieslak who takes it 
and Karlanov also beating Kodia. And the final touch. Those three under 51 seconds. So Martin Siesnak, Karlanov, Kodia are the first three, followed by Joe Litchfield from Great Britain. He swam a 51.2. That is going to be very close in terms of qualification for the semi-finals. Right now, Siaslak is the fastest. And uh, Litchfield is currently in sixth position. But two more heats to go. This is heat number six with Oleg Kostin and Matteo Rivolta in the middle lanes. Oh. Some minor technical issues. Also keep an eye on James Guy on lane six. Commonwealth game silver medalist. Bronze medalist at the, at the long course Europeans and also bronze medalist at the 2017 World Championships in Budapest. But that was long course. James Guy in six, Kostin in four, Rivolta. The reigning European short course champion swims in lane five. Kostin a very good sprinter. He was silver medalist at the short course Euro, uh, world championships over the 50 meter butterfly so it is lane three zenimoto from norway great individual medley swimmer but also very good in butterfly and backstroke and still in the lead Tomo zenimoto at the final turn this is where James Guy has to make his move, and also Kadia has to make his move. But they are way behind, so this is going to be Zenimoto from Norway taking this heat. 49.88. That was an impressive swim. A very good swim by Tomo Zenimoto. Kostin finishing second, Guy fourth, Revolta fifth in this heat, and their qualification is in jeopardy now. With one heat to go, James Guy is 10th, Revolta 11th, and 10 more swimmers to go. And this final heat. We have Marius Kusch from Germany on lane four. Finished fifth at the short course world championships last December. Look at the margin between Zenimoto and the rest of the field. Amazing swim by the Norwegian. But back to this final heat. Marius Kusch in four. Vekovishev of Russia in five. And Sabo from Hungary in lane three. on lane number seven that is Konrad Czerniak former European champion in this event there's Marius Kusch with the touch at the 25 meter mark and then at halfway point is Kusch and Bekovishev 22.91 the split so this is going to be a strong one with Sabo in third position right now. Bekovishev takes the lead at the final turn. A great underwater work by Kush puts him back in front. So this is going to be Kush and Bekovishev. And one, two, Yuri Felingden from the Netherlands. Coming strong to finish third and Kush under 50 seconds. So we are waiting for the confirmation. And then uh, let's see who are the fastest qualifiers in this event. 
So in this heat, only Marius Kush under 50 seconds. And if we summarize, we can say that uh, Tomo with Animoto was the fastest. In the field, two hundredths of a second faster than Marius Kush in this final heat of the 100 meter butterfly. Germans can be happy. Marius Kush safely through to the semi finals. Here we have confirmation of the results of this final heat. And then let's see the summary. So the cues indicating qualification. Tomo Zenimoto first, Kush second, Vekovic third. And down in 16th position, Matteo Rivolta is in. So the reigning champion makes it. And so does James Guy. Only in 14th and 15th position. Anyway, in the afternoon there is going to be a new race starting, so... I would not rule out Revolta making it to the finals. We're going to have the finals of the 100 meter fly tomorrow afternoon. And now we're moving on to our next event, that is... Uh, the women's 50 meter breaststroke. with only five heats. The first one we have Tjasa Pintar from Slovenia and Nika Tulina from Croatia. Lanes four and five respectively. Very strong in the first 25 meters. That's Pintar, the personal best of 32.2. So up in lane zero, Molly Main from Ireland. That is Pintar taking it ahead of Finnish Fanny Tayonsalo and Molly Main. 31.07. That is quite an improvement on her previous best. So Tessa Pintar, winner of. would be enough for qualification to the semi-finals. Remember, the first 16 will go through. And uh, my prediction is that one would need a time of 30.5 or so to qualify. The previous heat is still under review by the officials. So we do not have the official results. That's why we have to wait for the start of this second heat. They are checking if everything was correct with the start, with the turn, and the touch on the wall, the final touch. That's what they are doing right now. Might also be checking the underwater cameras. You know, when it comes to breaststroke, it can be a little bit tricky. But, now that is the start list of the, of the next heat. So we are still waiting for the confirmed results of the first heat. Remember, it was won by Slovenian Chesa Pintar with a huge personal best, 31.0. But heat number two cannot start until we have confirmed results from the technical officials. They're still checking something, but the results are now official. So no disqualifications. Lucky enough for all the swimmers in this first heat. 
the time of Jessa Pintar from Slovenia is official now. A huge personal best by her. And now we can move on to the second heat. In this heat we will have Katrina Teterevkova from Lithuania in lane four. Talking about Lithuania, of course, Ruta Melutita, former Olympic, world and European champion, not member of the Lithuanian swimming team anymore after she has announced her retirement. What a great career she's had. Olympic champion at the age of 15. And still holder of the European Championship record from six years ago. Tetarevkova from Lithuania in four and Molly Rancho from Great Britain in five. Rancho is rather distant swimmer. So let's say she is just warming up for the 100 or the 200 meter breaststroke. Also coming strong in lane zero, Lena Kreindl from Austria and she is going to take this one home. Yes, she does. 30.72. By Lena Kreindl, Rancho in second, Tetarevkova in third. Remember, two years ago at the last edition of these European Short Course Swimming Championships, it took 30.82 to qualify, so Lena Kreindl would have made the cut back then. But we still have three more heats to go. That is 30 swimmers and only the 16 fastest will go through. This is the first seeded heat with Jena Laukanen in lane four, silver medalist and the last European short course swimming championships. Here she is in lane four. In this event we have three Finnish girls and three Italian girls in the top seven. But the rule says that only the two best of them can go through. So even if they finish one to three, the third one will be eliminated. Great start by Lokanen. And a very good pullout by Dominika Standera. Lane five from Poland. Standera, fourth at the last edition of the European Short Course Swimming Championships. And also looking strong this year. Lane three, Alina Skushka from Belarus will be first to touch the wall. Ahead of Lokanen and Standera. Sub-30 swim by Smushka. Lokanen just outside of 30 seconds. And Standera 30.13 her time. Convincing win by Alina Smushka. Her entry time was almost half a second slower than the one she has just recorded. And we have the official result of this heat. Six swimmers under 31 seconds. Two more heats to go. Italian Martina Carraro, lane four, Ida Hulko in five. Those two have to push really hard because we still have a finish and two more Italians in the final heat. Ooh, and that is quite a speed by Martina Carraro bronze medalist at the short course world championships in this event. And that is going to be yet another sub-30 swim if she can hold on to that speed. Oh yes she can. 29.53. Would it be enough to qualify? That is the question. 29.53. Beating Ida Hulko by eight tenths of a second. Quite a margin in 50 meters. 
But two more Italians to come. And remember, only the two fastest from one nation can go through. Martina Carraro had a statement swim, 29.53, her winning time. But as mentioned, we have two more Italians, Benedetta Pilato in four, Castiglioni in five. only 14 years of age. She was the world junior champion this year, but also the world silver medalist and the Grand Two World Championships. It is Pilato ahead of Castiglioni at the turn. Very strong coming home in the final 10 meters, Pilato. And she's gonna take this one. 99.62, a new world junior record by the 14-year-old. Benedetta Pilato. Castiglioni in second, also under 30 seconds, but not enough for qualifications as she finishes fourth in total, which means in the total ranking. Beaten out by Martina Carraro and Benedetta Pilato. The first record for these LEN European Championships belongs to this lady, Benedetta Pilato, a new world junior record. The previous one was a standard time of 29.84. That was beaten by more than two tenths of a second by Pilato. We just have confirmation of the results of this final heat. And here is the summary. Carraro and Pilato taking first two spots and uh, Castiglioni is out. But who is in? We will shortly see In 16th position, we are going to have swim off. It's going to be between Lena Kreundl and Cornelia Palmer, two Austrian girls, fighting for the sp final spot in the women's 50 meter breaststroke. Now we move on to the men's equivalent. In this event, we are going to have also five heats. Amios Kutzoli is the European record holder. He will be seated first in the final heat. In this first heat, we have two Irish guys in the middle. But Serhii Shevtsov from the Ukraine is the fastest at the halfway turn. It is going to be very close to 28 seconds. And uh, all three of them are under 28. Shevtsov, Korby, and then Matti Matson from Finland. Once a world championship medalist in the 200 meters. Now doing great in the 50 meters as well. But the results are now confirmed. Three swimmers under 28 seconds in this first heat of the men's 50 meter breaststroke. Already waiting for the start, heat number two, with Hungary's David Horvat in lane four, and uh, Tomasz Polewka representing Poland in five.
will have a very strong pull out, very strong start, and then very strong pull out. But now it is uh, Lee Koko from Finland in lane one in the lead. Can he hold on to that? Yes, he can. So Oli Koko is going to take this one. 27.05. His entry time was 28.2, so great improvement by the finish. Alexander Gigolo finishing in second and also strong in the final five meters. There was Horvat from Hungary taking third position this heat number two. We're still over 27 seconds. That means uh, I think no chance for Oleg Koko to qualify for the semifinals in this event. Three more heats to go. And we already have one of the biggest stars present here in Glasgow. That is Vladimir Morozov showing up in lane four. Morozov, of course, a freestyle swimmer, great sprinter himself, short course world champion in the 53, but also he won a silver medal at the 100 breast three years ago at the short course world championships. In lane five, that is. Peter John Stevens from Slovenia and Arno Kaminga in lane six coming very strong. Kaminga had an incredible past few months, setting new Dutch records, and he touches the wall first. And of uh, Tobias Bjerg from Denmark and Munozov only in third position. Six oh three, the winning time by Kaminga. Most probably, that is a new Dutch record once again for him. Keep an eye on him in the hundred meter and the two hundred meter events. He has great endurance, but now it seems that he has great speed as well. Twenty six oh three, the winning time by Arno Kaminga. The penultimate heat is coming up with Ilya Shimanovic from Belarus in four and Nikolo Martinengi, world junior record holder, in five. That was a poor start by Martinengi. Now, up in front, that is Shimanovic, silver medalist at the World Short Course Championships last December. And the blue cap, you can see Shimanovic making a move in this final 10 meters, but also coming strong up in lane two. Anton Svein McKee, but Shimanovic takes it. McKee second, Martinengi third. The time a little bit slower than the winning time by Kaminga in the previous heat. We have six swimmers swimming sub-27 in this heat with Shimanovic touching first. The results are not official yet so we have to wait for confirmation by the technical officials and we're just making their way to the video room so uh, before we can turn on to the final heat we still have to wait this is the start list of the final heat with Fabio Scozzoli taking lane four Two-time short course European champion, also long course European champion back in 2010. This is Cazzoli, and we also have 
James Wilby and Ross Murdoch, so two British swimmers. Now the results are confirmed. Jürgen Brathen from Norway was disqualified from the previous heat, but Shimanovic's time stands 26.22, his winning time. His James Wilby, bronze medalist at the Commonwealth Games in the 50 meters, but was championship silver medalist behind Adam Peaty in the 100 meters. So Scozzoli, the European record holder in lane four. Sakchi from Turkey in five will be in six. What a start by Sakchi. He was a finalist at the Short Course World Championships. And he is up in front with Scozzoli and the halfway turn. Everything clear with the pullout, and Sekchi is still ahead of Scazzoli with only two meters to go. It is going to be Sekchi. That was quite a strange final touch by the Turkish. But did just enough to edge out Fabio Scazzoli. Five hundredths of a second separating those two. The winning time a little bit slower than Kaminga. So uh, the results are now confirmed. This is Sakchi, Scutzoli, then Rothbauer and Ruff Murdoch. Two long distance swimmers in three and four in this heat. So Arne Kaminga is the fastest qualifier in the 50 meter men's breaststroke. And we have confirmation of that. Sakchi in third, Skudzoli down in fifth. Morozov seventh, Martin Engi nine. And the last one to make the cut is uh, Martin Alikwe from Estonia, just under 27 seconds. And the next event is going to be the 400 meters individual medley for women. Three heats with the best swimmers coming in heats two and three. And the best of the best, as we could get used to, Katinka Hosu will be in lane four of the final heat. Finals in this event. Direct finals. The eight quickers will go through to tonight's finals in this event. However, as we have four Hungarians entering the 400 meters individual medley, we should once again emphasize that only the two best swimmers from each nation may go through. In this first heat, we have Leah Polonski as the early leader. Up in lane one from Israel. Followed by Amelia Kane from Ireland and Nikoleta Trnikova representing Slovakia. All of them very young swimmers, 16, 17 years of age. And uh, they are trying to make a statement in this first heat. Lea Polonski, the fastest in butterfly. And uh, in the backstroke, it seems that Amelia Kane will make her move. Number four with the black cap, that is Kane. And Trnikova has the red one, the red cap, in lane three. And the 
is still there. Polonsky up in front. Her lead has decreased significantly. Almost a second faster, Ternikova in this 50 meters than Polonsky. And well, those three are pretty much together at the halfway turn. Amelia Kane touching first and turning on to Restro in this individual medley event. So let's see how they can handle breaststroke. That is always the key to victory in the 400 meters I am. If I recall well, Katinka Hosu, well, she's never been beaten uh, by a large margin, but there was an occasion where Maria Belmonte not only managed to beat her, but also took her world record. And uh, back then, it was the breaststroke leg that separated those two. Katinka was way up in front after the 200 meter mark, and then Maria Belmonte swim an incredible breaststroke leg and managed to beat the Hungarian at the short course World Championships. But a lot of things have changed ever si uh, since then, because uh, nowadays Katinka is one of the best breaststrokers in the field. As we recall, her victories from uh, this summer in Guangzhou and also later on in the World Cup, she was together with the field and the 200 meter mark and then made her move on breaststroke which was considered her weakest stroke, but not anymore. And also a very strong breaststroke leg by Nicoleta Tronikova puts her clearly into the lead with only 50 meters to go. This is going to be a very good time by the Slovakian. Her entry time was 4.47. Well, this time is going to be very close to the 440 mark. Nikoleta Trnikova from Slovakia taking this first heat. Just outside 441, her winning time. Rutzelainen from Finland with a very strong final 100 meters. Finishing second and Leia Polonski, our early leader down in third position. So an improvement of six seconds by Tornikova. She is the early leader in the 400 meters individual medley with two more heats to go. That is 26 meters. Two years ago in Copenhagen at the Short Course European Championships, it took 440.6 to qualify for the finals. And now this is the penultimate heat with Ilaria Cusinato in lane four and Boglarka Kopasz from Hungary in five. in five, who was an Olympic bronze medalist in uh, 2016 in Rio in the 800 meter freestyle. And then at the 2017 short course Europeans, she was a finalist, finishing seventh in this 400 meter IM, only to turn to the 200 meter fly 
the following year in which she won a European title here in Glasgow and then a year later this summer in Guangzhou she became world champion in the 200 meter fly so let's see how she can handle this individual medley once again Laria Cusinato very strong first two legs but her breaststroke is uh, well, not that strong we may say clearly in the lead 101.6 three quarters of a second faster than Kopash over the first hundred meters and she is pulling away from her in backstroke Cusinato finished fourth at the World Short Course Championships and was silver medalist here in Glasgow at the Long Course Europeans and she well <laughs> She made headlines in this past few months with uh, selecting a new coach named Shane Tussop, a former coach and husband of Katinka Hosu. But after a few months of working together, she moved back to Italy and chose another coach. Moreno Daga just a few weeks ago. So at the halfway turn, Laria Cusinato 2.8.6. Kopash way behind. So let's see this breaststroke leg by Cusinato. Who is right now three seconds ahead of the field. Kapash in second. Paula Chuste from Spain in third. You see, that, what that, that was surprisingly strong by her over these 50 meters. Managed to Beat out Kapash by a second over the first 50 meters of breaststroke. And only 15 meters to go. Then she can turn on to freestyle. Still looking strong. And she survived. <laughs> this breaststroke leg. So on to freestyle now. Cusinato well ahead of the pack. Four and a half seconds up on Kapash and then Kristina Horska from the Czech Republic in third position. You can see this margin. Cusinato is leading with She's getting tired a little bit. Kapash moving closer to her, but only 30 meters to go for Cusinato. Of course, this is going to be sub 440 and uh, should be enough for an easy qualification for the finals by Cusinato. Her winning time is 432.8. I think we may say it is a statement swing by her. With Kapash in second, 435.4 her time. Cusinato would like to make once again headlines this afternoon, but not by changing coaches, but by beating out Katinka Hosu, who is the absolute favorite to take this 200 meters I am, and who has been ruling this event in the past six years or so. 
four-time world long course champion, two-time world short course champion, also Olympic champion. This is Katinka Hosu. She will be swimming in lane four in this final heat of the 400 meters individual medley. Right next to her, compatriot Shushana Jakabos, also a short course European champion herself back in 2010, was a finalist in this year's long course world championships. I'm sure you think I saw the result of Ilaria Cusinato and uh, will swim quite hard to qualify first for the finals. Already up in the lead, nine four that is Katinka Hosu. But expect her to move away on the breaststroke. And expect Jakobus to be very strong in butterfly and backstroke. This is Martina Ugolkova from Switzerland in third position. Those three are the same generation once they raced against each other at the European Junior Championships. That was well, quite some time ago, 15 years. And they're still here. And the European Championships competing. So Katinka Hosu, 10047, more than a second faster than Ilaria Cusinato was in the previous heat. And she is pushing hard in the backstroke. Let's not forget she is an Olympic champion in the 100 meter backstroke. But she is not swimming the backstroke events this year at the uh, at the Europeans here in Glasgow. Even if she is reigning European champion in the 50, the 100, and the 200 meter backstroke, she has opted out of those events. And as expected, the two Hungarians, Hosu and Jokabos, up in front when we reach the halfway mark. And uh, yeah, let's expect Katinka to pull away from Jakobos over the breast row. The split is 207.37, which is still more than a second faster than Laria Cusinato's time from the previous heat. And in breaststroke, yeah, already a body length or so. The difference between Katinka and Chijana. Katinka has also changed her coach recently. And uh, had a statement that from now on he will be training on her own up until the Tokyo Olympic Games. He had a great coach in Arpad Petrov, who uh, left his job in Switzerland to coach Katinka back in Hungary. They won European, uh, they won European short course titles, they won world titles together, but now they're not working together anymore. So Katinka in the lead after breaststroke and now already four seconds under the pace of Ilaria Cusinato who's also looking strong Susanna Jakobos was a very good breaststroke leg by Jakobos one would have expected a little bit slower than what she is uh, managed to produce and yeah, she's quite close to Katinka and those two will make it easily through to the finals most probably in uh, first and second positions which means Boblarka Kopash will be out she had a 4.35 in the previous heat but that would not be enough to beat out 
one of these swimmers, one of her compatriots. So it is Katinka Hosu taking this heat in 426.75 and Jakobos. A very, very strong outing by her. 427 per time. Once again, an easy swim and an easy win by the reigning European world and Olympic champion, Katinka Hosu. With Jakob in second position. And uh, Katja Fein from Slovenia finishing third in this heat. Here is the official result, official final result of the last heat of the 400 meters individual medley, which means Katinka Hosu will be in lane four come the finals of this event. Jakabos in five, also through Kuzinato, Fain, Krivonogova, Anja Trevar from Serbia, Korbenko from Israel, and Maria Dugolkova still making the final. to Oglarka Kapas being only the third best Hungarian. Let's move on to the men's 400 meters freestyle in which we are going to have not less than five heats. This is heat one. Israel, Ireland, and San Marino represented in this heat. The two Irish in lanes four and five, both of them under four minutes. Their entry times being four, uh, three. 54 and 355 respectively. And in lane three, we have uh, Ron Polonski from Israel with a 402 entry time to his name. But looking at his stroke, I would say that it's going to be under four minutes for him as well. We are at the 100 meter mark and Robert Powell from Ireland is in first position. Of course, when we talk about 400 meters, it is never about the first 100 meters. It is about endurance and speed. One of the most difficult races to swim. The 400 meters freestyle. It is still Robert Powell in first, Polonski in second position. And the other Irish, Daniel Whiffen currently swimming the fastest laps so he may get closer by each stroke to the leading two and at the halfway turn it is already Whiffen in the lead 153 the 200 meter split time for Daniel Whiffen who does not stop once again, a very strong 50 meters by him. And moving away from Powell and Polonsky. Sub 29 seconds. 50 meters split by Whiffen. 
and he is building on his lead right now. Two years ago in Copenhagen, this event, uh, in this event, it took 342.9 to qualify for the finals. Once again, it is 400 meters, so we are talking about direct qualification to the finals. The fastest eight will go through to tonight's finals. Griffin is well, still in front with only 50 meters to go, but he is fading away. Can he hold on to that lead in the final 30 meters or so? Less than a body length now. His advantage over compatriot Powell in four. With only 15 meters to go, Wiffen, Powell and Polonski in this first heat of the 400 meters. And Wiffen can hold on to the lead and takes this by a time of 350.91. He had an entry time of 3.55, so quite an improvement by him and also by Powell and Polonski. All three of them well under four minutes. Lloyd Bianchi from San Marino in fourth position, beating his entry time by 8 one hundredth of a second. Well done, Irish boys. So it's time to move on to our next heat. We will have the big guns coming up in the final two heats. So in heat number four and five. And this one, and the second one, just Denis Loktev from Israel in lane four. His entry time is 346.6. In this heat, we have one most of the swimmers under 350, at least according to their entry times. Locked in four, then Pit Brandenburger from Luxembourg in five. And the fastest so far is down in lane seven, Robin Hansen from Sweden. Would expect these guys to swim well somewhere around 345 or so maybe even better than that but that should not be enough for qualification for the finals still Hansen setting the early pace 53.03 which is almost two seconds faster than Daniel Wiffen was in the previous heat. Also looking strong. This is uh, in lane six, Jon Jönfett from Norway. And he takes the lead by one tenth of a second ahead of Robin Hansen. He has a long way to go. Still not at the halfway mark yet. Up in lane number one, Martin Bau from Slovenia who is currently in the lead together with uh, Jon Jönfett. This is the halfway turn, under 150, split by the Norwegian, followed by Bau and Hansen. Who has locked up, who has Brandenburger. Well, they are way behind in the middle lanes. And currently it is Martin Bau who has the quickest splits in the field. 
starting to move away from Jan Fett. Sub 28 split. So change of pace by the Slovenian at the halfway turn. And now moving away. Clearly up in front. With just a little more than 100 meters to go for Martin Bau, who had an entry time of 348.7. He can easily be under that with only 75 meters to go. Jon Fett still in second and Robin Hansen from Sweden in third position. Final 50 meters of this 400 meter swim. And in the meantime, Hansen took second spot away from Jönfett. They're going to battle it out for the second position in this final 30, minute, uh, 30 meters. With Martin Bau easily taking the second heat in the 400 meter men's freestyle. His winning time is going to be an impressive one, 341.98. I told you he had an entry time of 348.7, so quite an improvement by Martin Bau. Amazing swim by the Slovenian. And uh, well, he can still hope on qualifying for the finals, even if there are three more heats to go. Remember, last time it took 342.9 to qualify. So Martin Bau, <laughs> incredible swim. Even himself cannot believe it. So he is faster than what it took two years ago to go through to the finals. Let's wait and see. Remember, three more heats to go, 30 swimmers. This is heat number three. Mikkel Katkord from Denmark in lane 4, his entry time at 344.4. But also keep an eye on uh, Thomas Dean from Great Britain. He is in lane 5 and he is the early leader. And also Gabor Sombori down in lane number eight. He was the world junior champion this summer in Budapest. Just some three months ago, he won the title in front of home crowd. That was quite an impressive and surprising win by Gabor Sombori. Still in the lead, Thomas Dean. And, uh, looking strong in lane number three, Lucas Mertens from Germany. The fastest in the field right now is uh, Mikkel Gatkord, the Danish in lane four, who is catching up with uh, Dean as we get close to the 200 meter mark. This is Dean, Gadgord and Mertens. Just a few tenths of a second separating those three. And they are swimming pretty much the same pace as uh, Martin Bell in the previous heat. So 
let's see who decides to make a move after the halfway turn. It's still Dean and Cotcord. And one and two. But also strong down in lane number nine. Jose Paulo Lopez from Portugal. So we are getting close to the final 100 meters, and Thomas Dean makes a move and pulls away from Godford. Lopez already in third position. Dean with a 28.1 split. He seems to be strong. Nice technique by him with only 50 meters to go. Great swim by Thomas Dean. So the final 50 meters. Dean clearly up in front, got Gordon in second. And Zambori, the junior world champion, is in third position right now. The winning time is going to be just outside. 3.41. With Godford second and uh, Jose Paulo Lopez finishing third. Just beating out Gabor Zombori from Hungary. The winning time by Thomas Dean, a little bit stronger than Martin Bau from the previous heat. Oh, that's not a Dutch. <laughs> the coach is like. You have to stick your head down until the moment you touch the wall. It can cost you a few tenths of a second if you have a touch like that. Heat four is coming up and the heat is on as we have two Italians. Gabriella Detti and Matteo Ciampi swimming in lane four and three, and also Poland's Wojciech Wojdak in the mix. He is on lane number five. Detti, the European champion from last year here in Glasgow, long course. He was Olympic bronze medalist, world championship bronze medalist, and also short course world and European championship bronze medalist. He is the early leader. And of Jan Michka from the Czech Republic and Matteo Ciampi. Expect these guys to swim well, well beyond 340. But also, they have to spare some energy for the finals of this event. 